you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Uh, this is uh, a tribute to Mrs. Schwartz. So anyway, this one's for you, uh, especially for letting me film these lessons all the time. Uh, so the fixer. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we've got an intro, we've got a really cool verse, an amazing sounding chorus. This is one of the best songs I think I've heard them do in years. So the intro starts on the seventh fret power chord um, on the E string. So it's called a B power chord. So my index finger is on seventh fret, and my ring finger is on the ninth fret of the A string, and my pinky is on the ninth fret of the D string. And I hit that, and then I scoot it up to where my index finger would be on the tenth fret, which is a D power chord. So it goes just like that. Then right the position that my hand's already in, I scoot it over to what's called a G major bar chord with the root on the A string. So I'm barring the 10th fret, and then my ring finger is covering, it's barring the D, G, and B string on the 12th fret. And that is a G major bar chord. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it one time natural, then the next time with my pinky press down on the 13th fret of the B string that makes it a suspended chord and then off again like this. Okay? Might be a little tricky for beginners but if you've been playing guitar a while shouldn't be too bad. Then I'm going to scoot it down to where my index finger is on the 7th fret and I do the same move. So it's then it goes like, uh, that's the intro, so we go. And on the fourth repeat of that, it goes into the verse. It doesn't do just goes right into the verse, okay? So now I'm gonna show you that, and I really enjoy this part. All right, so the first chord of the verse is a G power chord. So index finger on the third fret, and ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string, like that. But what we wanna do is we're gonna pick the notes individually like this. Just boo da boo you can go boo da boo da or boo da boo da da Immediately to an E, power chord. And then I slide my index finger up to the fifth fret of the A string and get my ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Now this is a D power chord and I hit that. Then I slide that exact shape down to the second fret and this is a B power chord. So the root's on the second fret of the A string, and then the fourth fret of the D string. Then it starts over again. So the timing is a little weird. Check it out. They have two great guitar players in the band. They're, there's a lot of different little complementary things going on, but that's the core of the part. And when it does that last B power chord, it goes right into the chorus, which I'm going to show you right now. And you could do uh, just your, your like, you know, ACDC style G chord, you know. Like that. So in other words, the A string's muted and I got this doubled up, right? But I was listening to the recording, you know, I'm doing all this by ear. Um, you know, no, I'm not looking up tabs or anything. And what I'm hearing there, there's actually some like keyboard parts or synthesizer parts. There's a lot going on, but what you can do to get a little more accurate, I think, to the recording is you can um, take your index finger and put it on the second fret of the G string, and then your middle finger is still here, and then your ring finger is here where it should be for a D chord, like that. And the high E, I'm muting, although you could just think of it as a G chord 
you know, with your index finger right here, listen to this. It's got a cool sound to it. And it's definitely this note. It's called the nine. And the reason for that is, uh, if I go up the scale of the G, the G major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So come, those numbers come from the scale, just to let you know. So we got this chord. Then you could play an E minor chord, but once again, I'm not hearing this open G note in there. You kind of mute it. But if you, you know, if you only know E minor and that's hard for you, you can play E minor. It's all right. So, so far we have. Right to a D chord. So we got. With that if you want. G, e minor. doesn't end. It go, I think it does it either two times or three times. You're going to have to listen to it. And it, it, it kind of holds out, um, you know, like this. Then um, it's, it sounds like kind of more of a keyboard part, but if you played a G major bar chord and you just played like that, so you have third fret on the high E, third fret on the B, middle finger on the fourth fret of the G. And then you can add a ring finger or a pinky to the fifth fret. And it just does it so quick, but just in case you're dying to know it, it's kind of like, you know, it does a little picking thing just for a second and on a little break, like right into the bridge. It's really quick, but that's the chord. And it's kind of by itself. So I was thinking it's kind of like this. Just like that. So I'm not going to, you know, forgive me. I'm trying to cover all the parts. But here's a more important part is the bridge. Um, it's a C bar chord. Just like we were doing for the G. So it goes C, two, three, four. Then it goes up to where my index finger's on the 6th fret. So just like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. B minor bar chord. Barred in the A minor looking shape. Sorry. To an A power chord or an A major chord. Then it repeats the whole thing again. And then this time, when it goes to the A, it's like a build up into the intro. Right into, actually no singing. And then he starts singing. 